18 month old child presented with growth retardation, intellectual dysfunction, hypotonia and bilateral cataract. The child exhibited stereotypical repetitive movements of the hands and evaluation relieved a Fanconi syndrome like renal picture. What is the likely diagnosis? So we have four options here. Dent disease, Loewe syndrome, cystinosis and idiopathic hypercalciuria. So whenever you will have, as you can see, this child is having intellectual dysfunction and hypotonia which is usually central in nature. So there is CNS involvement, right? There is also ocular involvement in the form of bilateral cataract. There is also renal involvement in the form of Fanconi syndrome like picture. So this is fitting into a syndrome and it is a young child. So it is fitting into a syndrome of oculo cerebro renal syndrome. In oculo cerebro renal syndrome, cataracts and behavioral abnormalities are very, very common. And many times they can be the early manifestation, especially cataract can be an early manifestation. Congenital cataracts will be seen. Behavioral abnormalities become apparent after one year of life. So, oculocerebral renal syndrome, also known as Loewe syndrome, is the answer here. So, what are the key points about Loewe syndrome that you need to know? So, Loewe syndrome, it is also called as oculocerebral renal syndrome or oculocerebral renal syndrome of Loewe. It is uh, inheritance is X-linked recessive and it is predominantly seen in male boys, males. Then gene involved is OCRL1 gene. There is aberrant or absent protein which is implicated in abnormalities in the vesicular transport of Golgi apparatus and multiple organ system, multiple cell lineages. And uh, the features of these patients will include there will be age of onset will be within the first one to two years of life. What are the features that you will find? Oculo cerebro renal. So, ocular features will be in the form of cataracts. They can progress to blindness as well. So, cataract removal will be needed in childhood. Second feature, there will be CNS involvement. CNS involvement can be in the form of low IQ. They can have central hypotonia or simply hypotonia and they can have behavioral issues. The behavioral abnormalities can include Stereotypical behavior like hand wringings or hand movements. They can have obsessive compulsive disorder like features. These will be apparent in older children and not in young children. You can also find that some children will have increased risk of temper tantrums. And a minority of patients can have a hyperactivity as well. Although it is not uh, exactly in the domain of ADHD, but hyperactivity can also be seen. And thirdly, you will find that these patients can will have renal involvement. Renal involvement initially begins as increased protein urea. This protein urea is of the non-albumin variety, tubular protein urea. And uh, later on, it will progress to a full-blown Fanconi's anemia-like picture. If you do renal biopsy, you will find that significant tubular interstitial changes and tubular uh, dysfunction is present in these patients. Some patients can also have some glomerular changes and altered mitochondrial levels in the kidneys, uh, in, the, in the kidney cells. And treatment is supportive, very little can be done, no specific therapy is available for this genetic syndrome. But uh, diagnosis wise, the key points, they are very important, you need to add them to your notes. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.